Welcome to today's Black History Makers with Patrick Parker, also known as Sergeant Pushup. Hey, everybody. Welcome to today's Black History Makers. I am your host, Sherry Leopold, also host of Outside the Box with Sherry Leopold. Today, we are profiling another amazing person who is contributing and making Black history. So I'd like to welcome Sergeant Pushup, Patrick Parker, to our show. Thanks for being with us, Patrick. You know what time it is. Thank you. You know what time it is. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. It's push-up time. <laughs> I got it. Yes, Thank yes, you. yes. <laughs> Uh, as the CEO of Dream Big with Sherry, I'm always interested in learning how big other people think. And I know you are a big thinker. So as a fellow dreamer, what is your big beyond imagination, bold dream to impact the world, Patrick? I want, I want to make sure children have a meal. Every child in this nation has a meal. I want to make sure that children feel comfortable going to school. And I want to make sure that they know that everyone loves them as well. But Aww. making sure they're feeling comfortable going to school and making sure the children have meals, that is so, so important. You know, no child hungry. I love that. And I love your passion um, around that, that mission. So obviously you are one of our history makers today and you're making history as we speak with, with the activities that you're doing. Uh, what black historic trailblazers have impacted uh, your journey and paved the way for your success, Patrick? Well, uh, everyone says his name, but I'm going to mention two people because I used to listen to him at him when I was 14 on Saturdays. Martin Luther King, they had a story uh, radio show that would come on on Saturdays. And I would just listen to uh, listen to all the things that he was doing and all his speeches. And my aunt Ali, who is no longer here with us anymore, she always reminded me of like Florence Nightingale. She would tell me about yeah. when she was a nurse, things that she would do, and how she would feed kids in the um, in our community. If you wanted to come over to my aunt's house, she would just make sure that you would eat. And uh, it's just she's those two are my two history makers. Oh, that's awesome. And I love that you're really carrying on the mission of both of those people who have inspired you. So as you are making history already, and we know that if we fast forwarded 50 to 75 years, Patrick, what would somebody be saying about the impact Sergeant Pushup, Patrick Parker, you have had on them? What is your legacy that you want to be remembered for? I want people to, to remember me by Man, this guy did a lot of push-ups, but he did a lot of purposeful push-ups. Those push-ups were to educate people that it's not about Christmas, New Year's, Thanksgiving, and Fourth of July. Children deserve to eat every day. Children deserve to be cared about every day. He did push-ups to bring awareness to bullying. He did push-ups during COVID-19. He did a lot of push-ups to help children and just bring um, their plights to the forefront. And that's what it'd be. And it would be great to be um, to have a, a monument with me in a push-up position. <laughs> oh, I love that. We're just going to put that right out into the universe. I love it. Uh, yeah. Obviously, all the work that you have done in feeding so many children and helping children stand up for themselves powerfully and really giving children the tools has been such an inspiration to me. How would somebody reach out to you if they want to help further that mission with you, Patrick? Um, they can just go to www.sergeantpushup.com and you can reach out to me there or you can go to stop I count um, at Gmail. That's my email. But if you go to www.sergeantpushup.com, um, you can reach out. Is to that me SGP for Sergeant Pushup? Yeah. 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 SGT for Sergeant Pushup. Awesome. And I I'd love like it. to say as well, it, and I want to say as well, it takes great citizens like yourself. Um, if it to have a great form like your show 
to be able to get that message out. That's what people need. You need caring hearts like you that shine the light on what people like myself are doing. So I'd like to applaud you. And you're the reason why gentlemen like myself, women like myself, join the military to protect the four corners of the earth because of you. Oh, my heart. (laughs) Thank you so much, Patrick. And thank you for being one of today's Black history makers, not just because of the good work you're doing, but for the amazing human being that you are. I appreciate you. Well, I appreciate you. And next time you go to Walmart, make sure you send me some Ben Gay Icy Hot and Bio Freeze. (laughs) (laughs) Ten Hut. (laughs) Thanks, Patrick. (laughs)